Let's give ChatGPT some GCSE physics questions. Here are the multiple choice questions to an OCR GCSE physics paper. Question one, which row in the table correctly describes gravitational forces? Now the correct answer here is A, they're both attractive and they're greater for more massive objects. So let's see how ChatGPT handles that. It's gotten it correct. Okay, question four. Two balloons A and B repel each other when placed close together. Which row in the table explains why? The correct answer here is C, because there's going to be more electrons than protons in both of them, meaning there's going to be a net positive charge, and hence they're going to repel. Okay, let's see how the AI does on this one. Oh, it's thinking. Interesting, it's gotten this one wrong. It's chosen quite confidently the answer D, which is unfortunately incorrect. If you're using that as your sole source, unfortunately, you'll get that wrong as well. Okay, another one. A stopwatch is used by a student for timing how long it takes a toy car to travel down a ramp. We have the results across here. Which words describe the student's results? The correct answer here is A, repeatable and precise. Okay, putting those in. Curious to see how it does in this one. It's gotten it correct. Okay, next one. In the series circuit, a current of 50 microamps flows. Which current is the same size? So this is just testing us whether we actually know the prefix, and that is 50 times 10 to the minus six amps. Let's see if ChatGPT knows its prefixes. It does, correct answer. Okay, next one, a fluid under pressure causes a force. In which direction does the net force always act? The correct answer here is A, at right angles to any surface. Oh, it's gotten this one wrong. Really interesting, it's assuming that all the forces in pressure are just parallel to surfaces. If that's the case, designing submarines would have been a lot easier. Let's give it a mathematical question next. What is the work done when a car is pushed at a distance of 600 meters, converting the kilometers to meters using a force of 90 newtons. So because work done is force times distance, we would need to multiply 600 by 90, giving us a grand total of 54,000. And it's forgotten to convert the units. It's doing all the typical mistakes that you might do when you're learning physics. Okay, next one, which statement is an explanation of inertia? Now it's actually a measure of how difficult it is to accelerate an object or to change its velocity. So the correct answer is A. Let's see how it does. It's gotten this one correct. Okay, we have a transformer that has 100 turns in the primary coil and 200 turns in the secondary coil. So this means that it will be a step-up transformer with a value of two, meaning that our voltage will double. So if the potential difference in the primary coil is 30, then the potential difference in the secondary coil will be 60 volts. Now ChatGPT does not actually have a data sheet, so maybe I should just remove that statement to try and not confuse it too much. Perfect, correct. Next one about a hamster. A hamster has a mass of 100 grams. When the hamster moves, it has a momentum of 0.5 kilograms meters per second. Calculate the velocity of the hamster. So we need to watch out here that our mass is given in grams and the SI unit of mass is actually the kilogram. So 100 grams is actually 0.1 kilograms. And the correct answer will be given by 0.5 divided by 0.1, which is gonna give us C, five meters per second. And seeing how it does, and it's gotten the wrong answer yet again. It's starting to do this okay by giving us the formula. So rearranging the equation, we can find the velocity of the hamster as the momentum divided by the mass, which is correct. Oh wait, it's actually calculated the correct answer, but it's given us the wrong numerical letter. How bizarre. Should we ask it if you calculated five meters per second, why did you choose B? Let's see if it corrects itself. Oh, it's even apologized for the mistake. The correct answer would be C, five meters per second. This was a lot of fun. Do you guys use ChatGPT? Let me know in the comments below. And if you would like to see an intentionally challenging GCSE physics question, have a look at this video right over here.